Today I'm going to demonstrate how to do the veil style. If you watched my last video on how to do piggyback braids, you um, will know that I had put box braids into the back of her hair. Um, the piggyback braids were quite large and so they only lasted about a week, but the piggyback braids will last for another week or so, or these box braids will last for another week or so. So I'm only changing the style on top. Um, so to do a veil style, and, and just like any other style, you can do these boxes as small as you want, and probably the smaller they are, the longer it'll stay looking nice. Um, but I started with just three boxes here in the front. So you're going to part a row side to side, and then you're going to split that row into however many boxes you want, and you're going to rubber band them. Now normally, I would use these black rubber bands um, that I get in a big tub like this from Sally's or any other kind of hair supply store or online um, but I have these white ones laying around these are ouchless ones from Goody that I'm hoping will work okay I've never tried them before but um, I thought that the white would look kind of neat so I was just going to give them a try um, and when I am done with this hairstyle, when I go to take out the hairstyle to put in a new one, I always just take a rubber uh, a scissors and I just cut the rubber bands so that you get less breakage when you're taking them out of the hair. So anyway, so we have three boxes in the front. Now when you do your second row, you make another part from side to side, a certain distance back, however far back you need them to be to make um, your box is pretty square. And then just like when you're doing box braids, you need to make a brick pattern. So here we have three boxes. The next row is going to be four boxes. So right in the center, where the center of the middle box is, I'm going to make a center part. So there's my center part. I'm going to clip one side out of my way. And then I'm going to go to the center of the next box and make another part. And clip this hair out of my way. And that gives me this box. Now you can do this a couple of different ways. You can either just take the hair free or because um, you're going to take hair from the front too. From the two that are in front of it. I'm going to split this in half and split this one in half and take the inside parts of each of these and join them with this next box, the box behind it. But what you can do is you can either leave these two hairs um, just free here and then take your rubber band and band this box. But if you do that, um, it might not hold the frizzies in quite as well. So you can also take this hair and either do a two strand twist or do a braid with it. And I'm going to braid it. Now you don't need to braid all the way to the end of the hair. You only really need to braid it as far back as where it's going to be rubber banded into the next box. So I'm going to do the same thing with this portion of hair. Braid it. And then I'm going to take this whole section of hair from the box from the row behind and take my rubber band Got to kind of 
kind of keep those other sections of hair out of the way. So now you can see that, that half of this hair came here and half of this hair came here. Now I'm going to make another box over here and the rest of the hair is going to go into this box. So um, I'm going to stop now and I'll show you what it looks like after I finish the whole second row. Okay, so I finished putting back that second row. So each one of these was split into two sections and they went into the boxes behind them. On the ends, you know, you're only going to get one strand going into each side. On the ends, obviously. So the first row had three boxes, the second row had four, and now when I do my third row, I will have five boxes, and the center box right here will be basically in the same placement as the center box in the first row and I'll continue the pattern having half of each of these going into this box and so on and so forth. So I will finish this up and I will show you the pictures in the end.